Italy's election is still days away, but this felt like a victory rally, a glimpse of the future government. At its heart, Giorgia Meloni, who now seems destined to become Italy's first woman prime minister. Her critics claim she is a far-right demagogue, but when we spoke, it was an accusation she vehemently denied. We are always there for the national interests of Italy, and uh, we will show it. Uh, there is nobody all over the world who needs to be afraid from us. On immigration, though, she is unapologetically tough. I think that what Italy should do is to uh, stop uh, boats uh, leaving from Africa with a European with a European mission. I think the Europe, all Europe, that has to defend our uh, borders, uh, should talk with the governments of North Africa. Meloni's party can trace its origins back to fascism. Here in Predapio, they remember Mussolini, born, bred and buried in this town and now an unsettling attraction. People here told us they wanted a new strong leader. Giorgia Maloney is no fascist, and Italy has long since moved on from the days of Mussolini. But if she wins the election on Sunday, then she'll change the country. For a start, her coalition will include politicians from the far right. But secondly, a Maloney government will embrace a new, bold form of Italian nationalism. And that will mean a plan to limit migration, already a divisive topic in this country. Charity came here from Nigeria. Her husband, Alika, was murdered on the street earlier this year. Nobody came to help. Help, help, help. No one. Nobody decided. Nobody respond. That is what I don't like to see. There are a lot of people there. No one, no one, nobody. Meloni is seen as new, radical and intoxicating, but Italian politics is a brutal arena where governments fall often. If she does win, she'll have to act fast. Adam Parsons, Sky News, Rome.